Welcome back. It's the Springfield's best day where we get to connect with the best businesses around. And today we're joined by Jimmy Garber from A1 Guarantee Roofing, who I've used before. First hand knowledge of their expertise. They helped my house when a tree fell on it. Yes, yes. It yes. Really happened in February. So good to see you. Yes, yes. And I was out there. Yes, you yes. were. <laughs> you saw the damage. Yes, very much so. Tree limbs do damage to roofs, believe it or not. And they skylights. Really. And skylights. Skylights, all As that stuff. my house. So first let's talk about, talk about Springfield's Best and your mm -hmm. association. A1, been a, been a member, you're, you're loving it. What's the advantages of being a part of Springfield's Best? Correct. So we've, we've been with Springfield's Best for over 10 years. I couldn't tell you how long it's been exactly. But uh, uh, the benefit there is not only do you get referrals, but you also have a large vetted database of people to refer. And that's invaluable to customers nowadays, to be it able is. to give them a good referral. Mm -hmm. And trusted. And working exactly. with Tammy North is just, she's a go. dream, yeah. so it's gotta be great. Well, and with the weather changing, I know that's people are probably hitting you guys up left, right, center, all the things. So what are some signs people maybe should look for when it comes to their roof and if they're seeing any sorts of things going on on their ceilings? Right, leaf debris. Right now, you're going to have a lot of leaf debris falling. Um, whenever that does settle in valleys behind flashings, it will collect water. That water will travel sideways. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, that's, we, we also offer a maintenance plan to where we can come out. We suggest twice a year um, to clean gutters, to, to grab a hold of any of those small maintenance things. I had one homeowner, um, we did the roof about eight years ago. He wanted to, wanted to sign up with the maintenance plan, and uh, we found that it actually a decking nail was backing up through the roof and was going to cause a leak within the next six months or so. So oh, those maintenance what? plans are, can save you a lot of money down the road. Mm. Is this a good time of year to get a new roof? Like, is there a good time yes. of year to so do that? So there is no such thing as a bad time of year to get a new roof put on. Um, it is required that the you're above the freezing temperature yep. to install shingles. So mm -hmm. as long as you're above there, each season provides its own challenges. You know, in the spring, you're constantly looking at the sky, mm -hmm. hoping that it doesn't rain on you. In the summer, you're dealing with brutal heat. And then this time of year, your days are shorter, it's a little bit wetter, um, but it's still a good time to put a roof on. Mm -hmm. okay. And I, this is my point of contention with my rental property, but the gutters. Mm -hmm. Our person said, well, I cleaned them out in March. They don't need to be cleaned. But I keep saying, oh, no, mm -hmm. I right. see water pouring over. I'm like, right. I'm just trying to help you keep your rental property nice. So how important is it, though, to make sure that your gutters, how often should gutters be cleaned? So at least twice a year. Okay. You know, so if it, there, a lot of people don't realize that in the springtime, you have a lot of junk fall. You have maple seeds, little oak tassels. That's whenever we see the most problems. Mm. The leaves are pretty easy to take care of. You put on a gutter screen, it sheds it all off get up there with a leaf blower, it blows it out. Um, but yeah, so in the spring after all the foliage falls and then also in the fall whenever all the leaves have fallen to go ahead and get those things blown out. You know, some people, depending on how many trees they have, they might have to do it several times. Mm -hmm. I have, I have to do that. And I noticed that- You have a lot I of thought, trees around here. You, yeah. You've seen my house. It is like, I'm, every time it storms, I'm like, please don't let another tree right. fall off, please. Right. And it did, again, in spring, all the green, what'd you call them, the green, like, they're strings of stuff. They clog right. my gutters. Yep. So you have to really be on top of that. Yep. And they can also clog the screens themselves. Yes, yeah. which oh, they wow. did. Which then I had to get my hose and try to clean out. Anyway, that's why A1 roofing Trees here. are a blessing and a curse. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. totally. What other um, types of services do you offer at A1? Uh, we do guttering as well, and then just all type of roofing repairs. We find that it's, it's really hard to be the best at two things, let alone trying to do everything else. Right. So we try to stick in our wheelhouse of guttering and roofing, and like I said, roofing's our bread and butter. That's what uh, boss man Brian, my dad, mm -hmm. uh, that's what he's been doing for 30 some odd years now. Mm -hmm. And I also love your referrals, because for example, they came to my house, they're experts at the roofing and gutters. Mm -hmm. I needed some structural work. So you, you have a great list of people that you can refer, yep. that you work with all the time, that can help if there's a little bit more, like my house, there's more damage than just, just the roof. And mm -hmm. a tree service. And a tree service. Yeah. Oh, oh right. and a tree service. They recommended the tree service too. Right, nice guy out, was he in Billings? Where was he? Uh, he's out of Willard. His Willard, name's, uh, Willard, yep. Yeah, his name's Marlin with Top Shelf Tree, tree Care. He was very mm -hmm. nice, took mm -hmm. care of me. Yep. And actually took, this is how paranoid I was, that tree fell in my house. I had him take out three more trees by the house because I'm like, I'm not doing this again. Yep. Right. And he did. <laughs> yeah. And if you see any sort of water damage on your ceiling, I mean, how quickly do you want to jump on that and, and get it taken care of? ASAP. If you can, get in the attic, put a bucket underneath it to collect the water until someone can get out and take a look at it. Um, and then, you know, a small trick once you get the, the leak fixed, you can take a solution of bleach and water, spritz at it, normally loosen the paint a little bit and feather that paint in. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think, well, I'll just paint it, you know, shoot some keels on it. Oh, yeah. 
it's jet white. You know, it's, it's never gonna look the same. So a little bit of bleach, a little bit of water, and, uh, and then a paintbrush to feather in any loose paint around it can really minimize that stain. Maybe not completely eliminate it, but make it much better than a white stripe across your ceiling. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if, if people want more information about A1 Guarantee Roofing, everything you provide, maybe getting an estimate, getting a quote, yep. how do they get in touch with you? Uh, you're more than welcome to call the office at 417-863-0613 and also our, um, our website, a1roof.net. And guys, I've used them. I recommend them because I've used them. They've been to my house. And I've seen his roof. Yes, well, at is. least your ceiling. So, <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. Good to see you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. All right, coming up, we'll be joined by dancers from the Springfield Dance Alliance. And uh, prepare to shake our groove. Thanks, Jeremy. You ready? I don't know. I'm nervous.